Hi, the inspired actor here. Before we begin, please note that these quick take videos are meant to supplement my longer series of 10 minute acting class videos on archetypal gesture. So if you're new and have no idea what I'm talking about or what archetypal gestures are, I'll put a link to where you can start up in the notes. This is the final quick take video I'll be making on archetypal gesture with the exception of a compilation video with all the gestures. This will make up about 20 different archetypal gestures that you can draw from to create psychological gestures. There are, however, an infinite number of possibilities, and as I've said before, you are really only limited by your imagination, but these are all the ones I've actually been taught. If you think of any or know of any that I haven't mentioned, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Once again, we are using archetypal gesture in order to place our intentions fully in our body. Practicing with these actions or gestures when making your choices in your scene will help fully connect your psychological action with your physical body, with the goal being a more dynamic and concentrated use of your abilities on stage and on film. So without further ado, here is today's bonus archetypal gesture of crown. Crown. Begin in a neutral stance. Feet shoulder width apart, arms at your side, chest open and radiating. Inhale. Take a step forward with your right leg. Simultaneously, extend your arms forward and up, imagining a crown forming between your hands, which are prepared to hold it. On an exhale, perform the following movements. Bring your imaginary crown down and place it on the object of the gesture. While maintaining the pose, radiate the feeling of the gesture with your full, concentrated energy. Once you sense the gesture is at an end, return to neutral. Do not rush the ending of the gesture or let it continue after you feel it has concluded. And that is crown. This gesture was taught to me by Professor James Luce many years ago, and I continue to use it to this day. You may notice that crown is simply a dominate AG with a slight change in imaginary intent. But whereas dominate tends to have a negative connotation, crown changes the intention to one that is much more giving and positive. In acting, you can crown someone by giving them your blessing or making them your leader. You can crown your lover with a line like, you're the only one for me. Or, will you marry me? It's really a very cool gesture, and for me, it awakens a lot of stuff in my acting. Give it a try yourself and see what it does. As I said before, this is the last original quick take video on archetypal gesture I'll be making for a while. I have lots of ideas for quick topics on acting, film, and theater that I'll be doing next, so stay tuned for them, and don't forget to subscribe and crown that bell if you want to be the first to be notified when I release new videos like these. As always, when doing these gestures and actions, please remember your feeling of ease and your feeling of form. See you later, colleagues.